Good morning, every night, people of planet Third. My name is Wordingar, and I've not said that in a while. That's that felt kind of weird. Okay, uh, you're going to see now my first ever offline PB. I've been trying for this for a while, as you could see if you paid attention. It's 5,819 seats, I think it was. And here I'm checking for a for a ship shipwreck i saw that there was a magma ravine which i'm gonna use for entering the nether then i spot the shipwreck and here i'm hoping that it's like uh not buried like the important part is not buried in sand which has happened to me a couple of times and again um this is the second part uh, the second part this is the second time i'm trying to record this i just finished recording it and surprise surprise i realized i was recording with my laptop's microphone not my good microphone so i'm doing this again that's kind of good because i already sort of know what i need to say and when to say it <laughs> here i got 17 iron um, ingots so that was pretty good I decide I'm gonna take just two locks and then I'm gonna craft a crafting table and sticks and the rest I'm gonna take the rest of the wood I'm gonna take using an axe I'm gonna craft and I need to get better at crafting I, I want to blame my mouse but I'm not sure how accurate doing that would be here I'm making all my tools out of iron I'm sorting a bit my inventory I'm taking 10 wood locks. I, I thought it was 9, but I checked before like 30 minutes ago. And I actually took um, 10. And this one, this one I should not have taken. I just saw it and I wanted to take it, but it turns out it was a spruce lock, which I decided to keep in case I needed to make sticks for, for something, for some reason. I took the uh, I make a boat and a door because I have, again, I have that ravine and um, I'm trying to locate it here using the hitboxes, trying to locate some kelp floating around it because I sort of remember where it was, but I wasn't 100% sure. Now what I need to do is basically grab some gravel to try and get a flint. I got pretty, pretty average uh, rates. I've usually had bad luck with the flint, but in this case, I got sort of what you would expect from what um, the drop rates, the Minecraft sites you will get. I got it in the 11th um, gravel I broke, and you're supposed to have a 10% chance of getting one, so that was good. Here I spot this L shape, which is uh, better for, for making portals in my opinion, and I heard that that drowned died rounds tend to be kind of annoying in these situations because uh, if they get very close they can't hit you and since I'm not using the axe for anything of what I'm doing uh, it, it can be a bit tedious killing a, a drought here unfortunately it was this this was only a one high lava section and I finished my portal here and unfortunately I didn't get to grab any lava which would have been pretty useful in a part of the run uh, here I tried something that didn't work out. I tried to break that, break that cobblestone, but I wasn't able to. Now in the nether, I'm checking to see if I can spot something, and you're going to see it very, very soon that a spawner loads in, and that means a fortress, which is very, very close from what I, I could spot. And I'm pretty sure here I, I can see it from here. I'm not 100% sure. So, uh, the other thing I need right now is a closed bastion, and this, I, I already know this could be a pretty, pretty good run. And it is, to some extent, I thought that Pigling was gonna follow me, Pigling, Hogling, sorry, was gonna follow me all the way here, but he didn't. Here I'm checking for, uh, where the bastion may be. I'm double checking if there's a closer bastion here, and I decide, okay, that's the one I'm going to. I take the angle, I start going that way, pretty soon, I hope. Dude, just <laughs> that was pretty bad uh, I was nervous about hoglins because trust me they can be very very annoying I've had some bad experiences with terrain so I decided to grab some building blocks because I am in my mind I there's a high chance I'm gonna need them I'm gonna try to look for better terrain to go through uh, avoid this hoglin and you're, you're gonna hear it from myself when I realized that there's actually a bastion 
kind of close. You're gonna hear it about now, I think. I just, I, I want you to hear my raw reaction to finding the Vastin. <laughs> please, up to any, please. <laughs> just freaking please. Okay, that took a, a bit longer than I anticipated. Uh, here I'm gonna try to kill that Hogling, but that terrain wasn't helping. I try going down one block. Hoglins are very inconsistent. Sometimes they can hit you, sometimes they can't. I don't know what it depends on, but usually a uh, tree hike. Yeah, there it is. He hit me. Uh, I didn't want to die to that Hoglin. Fortunately, I was able to pillar up three blocks here. And I took my time to kill him. This would have been a bit faster with lava. I would have been a bit more secure, but I also wanted the food. So I got two cooked pork chops from this um, hogling and I wanted the food because being this close the fortress to the bastion I was gonna want to pearl to it so I needed to recover some health from from what could happen at uh, the bastion here I saw the three guys and I just said okay I'm just gonna go and unfortunately fortunately I mean I didn't get hit by any of them here I'm gonna take uh, some of the gold not all of it I think nobody takes all of it bigger speedrunners just take 12 I think I'm not sure how many these take but I went for 14 and I also need to make myself some golden armor I decided to make a helmet which I should do right now but uh, please I, I was very nervous because uh, this is one of the best netters I've ever gotten and I've died many times in a rich bastions and I've gotten like bad luck with traits as well here is the section in which i tend to die a lot i just tend to fall into that lab on the right and die well not fall like touch it i see that there's no uh, triple chest on the left here so i have to go for this route which was the first one i ever learned for bridge i saw that guy up there i decided to to start uh, throwing some gold. I also patched this small hole because I've fallen through that once. Um, starting a bit my inventory, throwing the gold there. I looked at the guy upstairs didn't fall and he falls right here. So I just get some piglins inside of my trading hole. I get, I, I didn't see like five or something. I was waiting for more to come, but none other piglin came if I remember correctly. And here, the, um, this was not a guarantee. I, I've had runs die to bad RNG and bad luck with the chests. And as you're going to see, these chests are not amazing by any means. The main thing you want to get from a chest is subsidian because I'm pretty sure from my experience, um, a pickling only drops one obsidian if it drops obsidian. And I don't know what the chances of it dropping obsidian are, but I'm checking for for some obsidian, like one or two could really be helpful, especially for saving time. Here I'm taking my time because I don't want to kill myself in that lava or fall to my death in, by trying to speed bridge. These guys here, I decided to make a hole for them because I didn't want to take any chances. And unfortunately, I didn't get any obsidian from any of these chests. And that was bad. I decided to take whatever they these guys traded because if they got me obsidian, that would have been useful. But I think they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. I decided to go back and see how my other guys are doing. I don't know why I went there, but I would have checked the, the chest that's upstairs. I'm not sure if it can contain obsidian, but the lava said no Ooh. here i saw that i actually had 10 obsidian and i started getting rid of some stuff i waited way too long here i should have been out way sooner from this bastion uh you're gonna see i i don't know what i was doing i don't know what i was thinking i need to manage my inventory better that's some of the things i really need to work on <laughs> great <laughs> i didn't realize i did that <laughs> I thought I switched my boots, but now I realize I didn't. I just dropped the, the good boots. I don't know what I'm trying to get. I really don't know. Like, I already have my... Probably one extra fibers or something. 
guess I'm not uh, very confident with just you. I should have gotten rid of so many of that stuff. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Dude, just go. You have all you need, dude. I need to find a better way to manage my inventory. Maybe do something like, I'm pretty sure it's Dylan that has a very, very nice sorted inventory. I didn't want a pearl here because I've had a runs die to a bad pearl throw. So I decided to sort of look a bit better at that terrain. And uh, I think I just, I, I didn't want to throw that many pearls because of the food. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have any food right now. I saw that the fortress was not where I thought it was and okay I do have the pork chops still I didn't want a pearl here I, I knew it was so far away still so I wasted some time uh, like pillaring uh, not pillaring just walking here I heard that hoggling got me really scared and here I realized Frick. <laughs> yeah I just fell right next to a uh, wither skeleton but also right next to a spawner so if I didn't die, that could be that could be a new PV. Pillar up three blocks here to get rid of those two wither skeletons. And now I just need to do my uh, fortress split. Which could have been a bit faster had I done some things differently. I I didn't end up clearing all the blocks I could have cleared because I was paranoid about the wither skeletons. I was trying to look for where I should go to blind travel and just because I'm, I'm not very good at, at the blaze split like I need to get better at measuring the distance at which I can hit them but they can't hit me and I also should have here again I'm checking where I need to to go to blind travel ah and I get hit by one of those guys now I'm officially out of food and I don't even have full health. That already gets me a bit nervous. I don't remember how good or how bad um, my drop rates were. I think they were way. pretty, pretty average. I'm not 100% sure about that. Now I know where I need to go to blind travel. I need to get better at blind traveling. My my blind traveling lock is usually pretty bad. I need to... Well, I should be crafting. I don't know. I uh, played a bit riskier. Usually I'm closer to the uh, origin of the world than uh, the stronghold is. Here, I I need to get a better mouse. I, I'm gonna keep blaming my mouse because I know I know it sometimes just doesn't doesn't work properly. I'm gonna get another virus and just wait for oh yeah, that, that weird skeleton had me paranoid, but here I saw that it was actually uh, still locked. I, I don't know, sounds are very they, they get me nervous, tend to get me nervous here in Minecraft. Uh, I think I I need one more spawn cycle for these guys. I get hit again. I'm already getting nervous. I've died to blazes hitting me before. Because again, I need to get better at measuring my distance. The distance between me and the blazes. I decide to craft my bets here. Which, uh, I only got five bets. And I feel pretty confident with five bets now. Um, like a month or two months ago, I would not have been as calm as I was with five bets. I get my six rod and I'm out. I just need to drop something from my inventory to get that last at my crafting table. But again, I, 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 there's so much stuff I could have dropped instead of that. I need to get better at measuring of what I, I. That's that's something I could do actually. I could look at my inventory what I kept. That was unnecessary right now after I finished recording this voiceover. I decided to blind travel around here. I realized I should have gone a bit farther that way now that I'm seeing it. I swear I thought I had... Oh, dude, uh, I need better glasses, I think. <laughs> because two things, um, this and the distance check to the stronghold are pretty pretty bad i decided to sleep because i died to mobs being around me and i just wanted it to be day already terrain was not great for 
for locating the stronghold you're gonna see it and i didn't want to check for the angle here i wanted to sort of try and estimate the distance but i did a bad job at that here my angle was one negative 124.8 okay i, I want to do this 124.8 here it was 123.4, which is 1.4. Um, yeah, I did that bad. And one of the eyes broke, which was not great. I've had zero eyes with <laughs> just, I don't really get good luck. And as you can see, this terrain's not really, really good. I can't really see anything. I don't want to throw a pearl because I don't have food. Here I'm gonna try to get some food, but cows are not the best animal to kill. Frick. My food just burned there. I killed that one. Here this guy, I thought he was gonna go to the water immediately and... Ah, I thought she was gonna go to the water immediately. Okay, pigs, pigs, pigs. <laughs> I said exactly the same thing. <laughs> I saw this pig and pigs are a bit easier to kill in my opinion. So I try to go for this pig, which just ran away from me. And okay, yeah, this this was pretty bad now that I'm seeing it. I lost a ton of time here as well. But I wanted to try and pearl and in my mind that blind trouble was like 400 blocks away. I don't know how he came up with that number. Even now with the proper numbers, it's just nowhere close to that. I thought I had like a two point something uh I am um, I angle change. So I'm thinking it's like 400 blocks away, something like that. And I'm playing for that, like in my mind or in what you're looking at, like I think I'm that far away. And I get a swamp, which is probably the worst biome for speedrunning in the overworld. They're just so annoying to traverse. And this also, there's gonna be a bit of a time loss, like, right about now. I'm pretty sure, okay, like, right now, I think. I throw an eye, and it just, yeah, it gets stuck on this tree. I don't know what it is, but eyes of Ender tend to go on top of trees, in my experience. Like, I don't know if that's intentional or something, or if I'm just bad at throwing them, but I tend to go... <laughs> trees when you throw them no oh, here i threw a second pearl um unnecessarily i'm starting to get nervous i was trying to switch to my food and and eat but uh i don't know why i didn't do it and here i'm gonna throw a pretty pretty bad pearl after i think i killed one of the ship a pretty pretty bad pearl you're gonna see it um <laughs> This is funny. Like, I wanted to try and gain some distance from that mountain. And I just realized after um, recording it that I actually ended up at the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> that was completely uh, useless. Here, I'm gonna try to go up. I didn't have any um, building blocks on my hot bar except for this dirt I just grabbed. And again, I'm thinking I'm really close already. I think, like, should be close now. Oh, it's not gonna sub 20, but maybe sub 25. Yeah, I, I think that, um, again, I think that the stronghold's here on top of this mountain, but it's not there. It turns out it's not there. And I threw a bunch of eyes. I don't know how many I threw already. I think I've done like two or th like three or four, I mean. And uh, yeah, I just played this bar pretty badly. Because I think that uh, the problem was I, I mischecked my distance to the stronghold, so I thought it was closer than it actually was. And also the eye breaks. I, I've had bad luck with eye breaks. I tried to sort of see if I was already getting closer, and I was. But you're you're gonna see it. Give it, give it a minute or two, and you're gonna see what really got me. Um, disappointed about this here I'm thinking I'm, I'm actually really really close and I'm gonna keep throwing a bunch of eyes I don't know how many I end up checking yeah like 
I threw so many ice, I should not have threw that many. Thrown that many, I mean. Um, actually... Hmm, I'm looking at the uh, coordinates right now. Yeah, I, I blinded at a bad sight. Pretty, pretty bad sight. I could have done way better. But it's, it's no problem. Ron's just about to get <laughs> kind of boring. Well, this part's already pretty boring. Like, I don't know, just walking to the stronghold is very, very boring. Uh, I'm watching this without music, by the way. You should be listen listening to this with some sort of music. But without music, it's kind of boring. Finally, this eye goes back, and I say, okay. Should be close, but then this eye breaks. Great. That's what messed up my triangulation. The fact that the eye broke. I didn't want to throw any more eyes, but I probably had to. So I, I decided to... Throw one here and just try to locate where the where the uh, what what chunk um, could be the one that contains my, my the, the entrance to the stronghold and I did this poorly I I was just looking at the terrain didn't really pay attention to the eye I didn't even dig down at the proper coordinates which uh, proper chunk coordinates which you're gonna see me try to correct here really soon here I realized and I was like okay let's see if it's this way I realized it wasn't I went the other way and then I also needed to check on the other axis and I should have looked more closely to my to my Y coordinate because it's getting low pretty pretty fast and here yeah this this part here I should have realized I was not in the right place I want to I need to check something Oh, dude, I need to check something because uh, I missed the stronghold by one chunk and going up that side I considered it. I say no, it's it must be a waste of time I want to see if the entrance of the stronghold is visible there. I go to this mine shaft I try to see if I can come across the stronghold because I'm really far down There's no way the entrance is at this height. I see that creeper and that skeleton the site to block that um, that section I try to check here on this other side of the cave. I don't know why. I should not have checked this side. There was no shot. The stronghold was that way. But I was kind of disoriented. This water was being really annoying. Water flowing down like that is really annoying. You're gonna see it again uh, when I actually find the stronghold. But I decide, okay, uh, maybe if I check uh, in the direction of the mine shop where the creeper and the skeleton were, I may come across something. So I go this way, I check on the left, I don't know why I did this, that was the exact same chunk I had already tried going through it. I blow up this creeper, and I was waiting for the skeleton to come, he didn't come, I check here, nothing. I decide to kill the skeleton, he does get to hit me once, but that's it. And here I see that blocked and mossy um, stone brick. And I say, okay, we're close. I realize this is a library. Try to block down this water, which was really, really annoying. I'm trying to see where I need to go to reach uh, the star staircase. I decide to, to try and look, but the lava, the lava was so annoying. This, this stronghold was really annoying. You're gonna see it. Water was very, very slow to go up. Dude, freaking go up. I see here another section, I decide to go up there and start looking for uh, to add the doors to try and locate. Okay, I was really close. Now that I've seen this, I was really, really close to the portal room. But you're gonna see where it is, it's pretty, pretty bad. The actual location of the, the stronghold. I don't know what I was doing with this chest. My inventory is a mess, I need to get better at that. And I'm gonna find some other chests right here. I grab some stuff. I again, I'm pretty pretty bad. I decide to leave something behind and grab that bread because I may need it. I've had bad experiences in strongholds with mobs. Here I say, okay, that should be the entrance, and I wanted to start checking here. I'm not really sure if that's the entrance, so I go back and check another time loss. I check the right side, see that this is a dead end, and just go back to, to the starter. I'm not really good at pressing buttons. 
say, okay, let's check on the left. I see that this is where I came from. And I say, okay, so we're going linear here. I start going linear. I see that zombie, I see that the terrain's pretty bad. The stronghold ends there. And I start going back, check this way. See, it's another dead end. Decide to kill this zombie. Check this door again. This is, I think, the section of the library I was in before. And I see that other section, and I'm pretty sure that that may be the, the portal room. So I decide to go that way after killing this spider. And as you're gonna see in just a second, this lava pops really told me that this was probably the, the room. When I see it actually is, I go to the middle, see that it's a 2i. You've gotta be kidding me. Freaking 2i, no freaking way. Yeah, I've had bad luck with this. I'm playing this pretty slow because if one I just went back to the starter staircase, uh, the room was dead. Basically, that that was why I did that so slow. Here, I don't have that much food. I do have some. I should have pulled again here. But I'm gonna go down to down uh, to the center to set up my one cycle, and then I'm just gonna go again. I'm not I'm not pulling because of my health. I've had bad luck with Enderman, Enderman killing me here at the end, and I didn't that want that to happen. I organize a bit my inventory, have everything I possibly could need in the end fight. I thought that was a perch, and I wanted to check how far away the, um, I could go farther, and I realized I was gonna fall. So I just went a bit to the left, the dragon fireballs me here. Ah, oh, this could PB, but it's an awful PB if it is actual PB. Yeah, I could not have said that better. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Dude, gladly. Dude, reaching the stronghold took forever. It, it, the dragon perched really fast. You're gonna see, now I'll leave you with the one cycle. Which, uh, you're gonna see it was not that, that bad. Twenty six forty nine. I'll take it. It's almost a two minute PV cut. Ah, okay. I wanted a better PV, but it's okay. <laughs> ah, seed. There we go. It's not amazing, but thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys. Ah, that stronghold. Like the terrain was awful for triangulating. I didn't want to waste any more. Ender um, eyes, eyes of Ender, and that's why I had to dig where I thought it may be, but I lost a ton of time there. Thank you for watching anyway. Uh, I should be showing myself. Yes, new PV, finally. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, the, I think I played the Nether pretty well, but the after aftermath of the Nether was pretty bad. Anyways, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, moderators. Bye!